Just picture this for a moment. You're on vacation, walking through beautiful, warm, tropical water. The sun's shining, everything's perfect, but just lurking below the surface, completely hidden from sight, some of the ocean's deadliest creatures. Okay, let's play a little game. Take a really good look at your screen now. It just looks like a bunch of rocks and coral on the seabed, right? Well, there's a master predator hiding there in plain sight. Go on, see if you can actually find it. How many did you get? If you're coming up with a fat zero, that's the whole point of this video. So what were you supposed to be looking for? This guy right here, the reef stonefish, and it has more than earned its title as the world's most venomous fish. I mean, look at it. Its entire game plan for survival is so good at hiding that it's practically invisible, and it's definitely not winning any beauty pageants. One of my favorite descriptions of this fish is that it has a face that looks like a gorilla with a really bad complexion. Yes, that perfectly captures that bumpy, crusty, rock-like look that makes it so hard to spot. So how does this lumpy, rock-looking fish deliver such a serious threat? Well, it all comes down to the number 13. Along its back, it has 13 incredibly sharp, thick spines and each one is connected to its own sack of venom. Its dorsal fin is basically a row of fully loaded hypodermic needles just waiting. And here is the truly scary part, folks. A stonefish isn't aggressive. It's not going to be seeking you out and trying to hunt you down. The danger is that it's just there. Almost every single time somebody gets stung, it is a complete accident. You know, someone puts their foot down in the wrong spot or maybe reaches out to grab on what they think is just a lump of coral or stable rock, and whammo. And if you happen to make that mistake, the descriptions of what follows, well, they're intense, really intense. So what happens? The venom causes what is consistently described as excruciating, gut-wrenching pain. We're talking about a level of agony here so severe, it can literally send a person into shock. And from the exact moment from when you're stung, a clock starts ticking, a very, very fast clock. You have about 15 minutes to get real medical treatment. That is an incredibly small window of time. Every second here counts to stop that venom from causing even worse problems like paralysis, making it impossible to breathe. So that is the terrifying part. But the whole point of this video is to arm you with the right information. So let's talk about the very life-saving action plan that needs to be activated once you get stuck. This is what you need to do, step by step. Let's break it down real quick. Step one, get out of the water. Sounds obvious, but it's the first thing you have to do. Step two, call for emergency help right away. This isn't something you can just walk off. You're going to need anti-venom. Step three, and this is maybe the most crucial first aid tip. Get the wound into hot water, and I'm in as hot as you can stand it without getting burnt. The heat helps to break down the venomous proteins. Step four, keep that limb as still as you possibly can. You don't want to help that venom travel through your body. Of course, knowing how to survive is great, but avoiding it in the first place, you know, is way better. So first, just be aware of where these things hang out. They hang out in shallow coastal waters, especially around reefs and rocks. And always, and I mean always, wear some kind of sturdy water shoes for protection. And a great trick is to shuffle your feet when you're walking. The vibrations can scare them away before you get too close. But all that comes second to one big idea, and here it is, the golden rule. If you only remember one thing from all this, please make it this. Don't touch anything in the water unless you're 100% sure you know what it is. That cool looking rock, that piece of coral, just leave it alone. That one habit is without a doubt your best defense. So we've covered a pretty critical tip for staying safe in the ocean today. It really gets you thinking. And what's the most important survival tip you've ever picked up? It could be for anything. The outdoors, the city, whatever. Let us know down in the comments. We'd love to hear them. And if you found this video useful, please feel free to subscribe. And please do share if you think it can help someone. 
from depths unseen, where shadows play. San Nancy of Arucosa holds sway. A mottled form on seabed lay, where danger hides and lives in pain. With spines erect like jagged stone, each needle sharp, a deadly zone. The toxin, stone of stoxin, you'll soon regret. A mimic's art, a rocky net. Those thirteen barbs, so keen and cold, a single scrape, a story told of searing pain, a cruel release where coral blends and life makes. Strike now, fear. 